British politics has a proud tradition of having all candidates standing together on the stage when the results are announced, even joke candidates, which means that on election night, as her party was dealt a massive blow, the Prime Minister here had to stand on stage alongside Elmo, who got <laughs> three votes, as well as Howling Lord Hope of the Monster Raving Looney Party, who got 119 votes. And if you've noticed this guy, wait till you hear his name. Lord Buckethead, 249. Oh! Oh, you can roll your eyes all you like, Theresa. Your evening just found a way to get a lot worse. <laughs> and for the record, Lord Buckethead is this guy, an intergalactic space lord who ran on a platform of, among other things, the abolition of the lords, brackets, except me. <laughs> and stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia, start buying lasers from Lord Buckethead. <laughs> and he did this all while looking like Darth Vader fucked an Amazon Echo. <laughs> what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is... British politics, when done well, can be very fun. Not a great sign that the single most honest statement from any candidate in this election regarding the difficulty of the task ahead came from a man with a two-foot bucket on his head. Your Prime Minister, your MP, Theresa May, called this election about Brexit. Have we heard from her what she plans to do about Brexit? <laughs> no. This is mad. On Thursday, you are going to be faced with Prime Minister May or Prime Minister Corbyn against 27 Prime Ministers from the European Union. It will be a shit show. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I never thought I'd say this, but that intergalactic space lord has a point. <laughs> Look, in eight days, the UK is set to walk into a negotiation with no real leverage, no significant political mandate, and no coherent plan. And I don't really have a solution to that, but... I do have a proposal for Theresa May, because at this point, you have basically fucked everything up. And your only real chance here is to utilise the element of surprise. So how about, instead of sending a career negotiator, why not send someone that there is no way they would expect? I'm talking about someone bold, unafraid to call it how it is. Someone with a firm, leather-clad grasp of the issues. <laughs> someone with a bucket list of demands <laughs> and an honest, slightly muffled voice. That's right. I'm talking about the intergalactic space lord himself. Here's the question. Is he willing to do it? Well, yes, he is. And the reason I know that is we found him, <laughs> contacted him, and actually flew him here to New York this morning. <laughs> now, could we have just made a similar costume and put an intern in it? Yes, shit, we could have done that. That's a good point. But we didn't. And the fact that we didn't is why I am now able to present to you here tonight your new Brexit negotiator. Please welcome Lord Buckethead! That's right. On your knees, Earthlings. Theresa May, if you are still Prime Minister by the time that this show airs, I implore you, send the Dark Lords to Brussels. <laughs> Is it an absurd idea? Yes. But it would not even be close to the stupidest thing that you have ever done. Thank you so much for watching. That's our show. We'll see you next week. Good night. <laughs>